you see the thumbnail? Aren't they gorgeous? They look much more difficult, but let me show you how easy it is to get that effect. So the trick is layers. You want lots of layers. And in this design, kind of psychedelic color. So I have chosen a cat eye that's really strongly pigmented. So it's got a lot of that magnetic material in it to make it very reflective, which kind of gives it that kind of look. I do recommend you do this design with gel polish just because you can cure it much quicker. You could do it with nail polish, but each layer would have to be fully cured in between and it would take a long time. So gel polish makes this go a lot faster. So we're gonna start with a naked nail and I'm gonna to try to shake it up a little bit by putting one layer here. but just till about there. And I can feather it a bit. And then I'm gonna get another color. Actually, maybe I'll use this color because I want the other vibrant pink over top. And then I'm gonna put this color. And you can see I'm just feathering together, almost like ombre, but I'm not being very specific but if you feel you get a little bit in your brush just wipe it on a little you know a little towel I didn't really get it too bad so it's pretty good I'm just gonna make sure I've got what I want on there okay you don't have to worry you don't want that too much like that the effect won't matter in the end I'm going to give this a cure now I will cure this for the full amount because it is a full layer of gel. So you want to make sure you gear it the full amount. Okay, and then I'm going to put two more layers of colors on and they're going to be different. I mean, I don't really know. It's, it is rather random, the selection of colors that you're doing, because once you start, well, you'll see when you do the effect. Okay, I'm going to put, I actually do like the blue on top of the green. So just put it right on top. I know that sounds weird. Just put it right on top. And then I'm gonna do maybe this deeper color. Deeper, it's, it's actually quite a strong kind of deep pinky color. I know it looks like a mess, but that's okay. Now I'm gonna cure that again for the full amount. Okay, and now I haven't used this color yet. I really like this color. And so I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm gonna use these two because these are the two colors I haven't used. And you don't have to use them all. And you can use more. Okay, I think I'll put the purple over top of the blue in this vibrant really strong pink right over top of the deeper pink Just softening the colors in between these two. Okay. Once again, I'm gonna go for a full cure. Okay, now once they're all layers are fully cured, you want to remove that dispersion layer. Some people call it inhibition layer. That's just that sticky stuff that rises to the surface as it's curing. Okay, I'm gonna wear a mask for this because I'm doing some filing and we want to protect those lungs. Okay, I'm gonna grab my ephah. I've been soaking my bit. Now this is a bit that's got a bit of teeth on it. You could do it with any bit that's gonna sand it. You could do it with hand files and I'll show you a little bit of that. But I'm gonna use it with a bit because I don't know, I'm impatient. <laughs> and what you wanna do is you wanna file, just start filing and do it quite gently. What you're doing is you're removing color 
and letting the color underneath appear. And of course, it depends on how much you're removing and how deep you go into those layers that you got on there. So this one, I can't remember the colors I put in now on the placement of it, but I'm just going to start filing and it's going to reveal what it reveals. That's looking pretty cool. So let me show you with the hand file. You can do that too. So it doesn't have to be done with an e-file. I think I'm going to use the medium or the fine just because I don't want to go too deep through there because I want to leave the sides of the other one too, almost like feathering each layer. So let's try the medium and see if it makes us happy. You can just wipe it away, wipe away the dust. And so you're sort of getting that effect. I like that blue coming through. That's quite, quite pretty. I can't remember what's under the blue. Let's take a look. Oh, the green is under the blue. Let's see if we can make it come up on this side. It does ruin your file though, because <laughs> all the little bits of color are really getting into your file rather than some is on the table of course yeah i can really see that green coming up on this side so you have to be kind of strategic with your filing you don't want to file in one spot for too long see the green coming up there i like that too Ooh, that's pretty Okay, I do want the green to come up over here. That's the last layer. So what was the purple, blue, and then green? So I do want a little purple to stay there, but I think I want that green to come up. I really quite like it. Oh, there it comes. looking really pretty. So you can really actually control the amount that you're getting. And I love that. Okay, let's take a look. I might like that. That's pretty nice. Hmm. Now that's not polish in there, that is the dust that's gathering in there. That's pretty nice. Okay, I think I'm gonna sand it out with my sanding sponge. Just give it sort of a feathery, softish look. tie-dye kind of look, isn't it? I like it. That looks really cool. Okay, so now the big question is shiny or matte? Now, in this particular design, I did decide to go with that kind of velvet look. Let me just clean this up. Okay. So let's make sure we clean up those cuticles really good. I'm going to do the matte because I did the matte on the other ones. Okay, if you're using alcohol, just make sure that it's really dry before you put your top coat on. So here's my new packaging for my top coat called Velvet. Ooh, we'll get to actually see what it looks like shiny because the mat will go on kind of shiny until we cure it. What do you think, Karen? What do you like? <laughs> The perennial debate. I always like shiny. I mean, the shiny is cool, but for some reason, I like the matte on this one. Yeah, well, it looks good on the other nails, I think. Yeah, okay. Well, let's cure it, and then let's take a look at the photos.
So that's what it looks like when the matte is cured. And that's how I got this finish with them just all being quite matte rather than shiny. I don't know. I, I think this design in particular, I think, suits the matte. I quite like that. These colors I used are all from my Let Your Light Shine collection. That is in my new cat eye collection. Beautiful. I love it. Okay, well, if you're interested in any of these products, everything you see here today is available at nailcareer.com. Thanks for joining me in this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay.